Pisces. Treat me nice, please. What is going on, my babies? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Viva, it is Scorpion Red Several, and I am back at it again, as promised. Yes, indeed, for the love edition for today. We are here to find out what the love energies are surrounding you. Um, for the month of September, like honestly, like this is the time this reading, uh, this is whenever you see this reading, honestly. Uh, we're just going to find out what the current love energies are surrounding you. Um, we did a inner guidance video earlier, so you guys might want to go and check that out. Y'all had a lot of amazing energy in there. Um, I want to give a shout out to all my OGs, a shout out to all my newbies, shout out to every last one of my babies for like, sharing, subscribing, and clicking this video. And uh, we're going to find out what's going on with love. We want to um, give God a shout out before we get into any of this energy. So, Father God, thank you so much for blessing all of the people under the sign of Pisces. Uh, we want to find out what the energy is surrounding the sign of Pisces and love. We want to give guidance and wisdom to people in relationships so they can strengthen the bonds that they currently have and for our singles to call in new bonds and new permanent, strong, beautiful relationships into their life. So Father God, we thank you for blessing us each and every day and giving us fresh air and daily bread. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. Yes, God. All right. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right, let's get into the love. Let's get into the love for my Pisces. Pisces, treat me nice, please. What's going on with you, baby? What is going on with you in love? Who is loving on my Pisces? What is Pisces getting into tonight? All right, All right Pisces, let's see what we got in love. What's going on currently? The Pisces in love. Give me two cards. Okay. Oh, we got the camera. I've been watching you, watching me, and I know you want it. Hey, who you been watching? Pisces. Hold up. I've been watching you, watching me, and I know you want it. Who is you looking at? Ooh, coffee cup, and under the deck you got talking. Who you been talking to, Pisces? Girl, it is your world. Let me go ahead and put that on the table. Let me put it on the side, bro. Who been checking you out? Who you been linking up with? Who you been late night talking to, Pisces? Who you been meeting at the coffee shop? Oh, okay. Getting you one of them nice little uh, 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 strawberry refreshers. Okay, girl. Getting you a pink drink. Okay. All right. Okay. Hmm, interesting, interesting indeed. Looks like Pisces is uh, entertaining somebody new. Someone may be definitely checking you out online to see what you about, see what you ain't saying about yourself, trying to come up with their own little prerogative about you. So Pisces, I don't know, it might be something on the internet you might want to clean up a little <laughs> I feel like someone might be looking at your pictures and trying to gain their own little perception of you. But I feel like they like what you're doing. I feel like y'all have similar interests, especially with that coffee cup. Y'all have a similar interest where you guys met in a common place or something like that. Okay, come on, Pisces. Tell me what's going on. Currently in love with Pisces. What's going on in love with Pisces? Give me three cards, couldn't you? Can you? All right. Ooh, remnants. Yeah, perception. I look. I, I said that. Ooh, the Queen of Pentacles. Oh, they said you. Okay, she got the money, and she got the honey. She looking good. She looking wife like. Okay. Look about. Ooh, the Seven of Chalices. Ah, ah. Okay, girl. You look kind of decent out here on these streets. And you got the Hermit in reverse. Okay. Trying to get you to come outside a little bit. Pisces. Okay. So what they, they they like what they see, Pisces. They think that you're very smart, extremely intelligent. They feel like you're well groomed. You know what I'm saying? You keep up your look. You like you always are looking good. They like your pictures. They feel like you're voluptuous for sure. Okay. 
It definitely feel like you a little hippie. Okay? A little thick thicky. They definitely think you a little thick thicky, okay? They like your cheekbone structures. You know, kind of like what you be doing with your hair. Mm-hmm. Definitely could tell you you know how to collect a coin. And you can take care of yourself, that's for sure. Okay? So I definitely think that uh someone is very intrigued with your lifestyle and um yeah, it's like they like your hair. And it's like you always got a different look, got something different going on with you. You got a different aesthetic every time you turn around and things like that, you know? They feel like you're very green, you're very homely, you're very earthy. Um, so you might have a very um healthy diet or something like that. They can tell that you take care of yourself and you know, you have beautiful skin and things like that. Okay. All right. And um, you got the coffee cup and you got the seven of cups. Okay. So I feel like somebody might be, you know, might be a little overflow. I feel like someone might be a drinker. I, it might be overindulging on coffee. Maybe this person is like a heavy coffee drinker. I just feel like they're very excited about you and they look forward to having a good time with you. They feel like they made a good selection, a good choice with you. Um, they said they want you to be more adventurous and outgoing. Because with that Herman in reverse and that talking to, that is definitely telling me like they've been like trying to coach you into like getting to know different sides of yourself like being more um expansive you know it's like well you know i never tried this before but okay well let's go do it you know so it's like i feel like whoever this person is that you are experiencing and you're getting to know at this time maybe um showing you different interests different options in life different opportunities that you've never really thought of and maybe spreading your horizons a little bit, you know. And um, why well, I see you on on four wheel it on a dirt trail with them little goggles on and, and and some cute little spandex shorts and a little uh crop top, and you all in the mud. You got mud all over you and everything like that. Just like fun, like outdoorsy, cool shit. Like really, like honestly, I feel like you are more of a I feel like you are uh, more of a homebody type of person. It's like maybe you are more focused on your money a lot, you know. So you spend a lot of time at, at work or at home. I don't think that you really do things where you got a lot of keepsakes for yourself. So the camera says reminiscing, keepsake. I just said keepsake. Perception, um, learning from the past, making memories. So, like, and again, I feel like you are very mature, a very mature woman. And you definitely have taken a lot of steps in growth in, in regards to situations and relationships from the past. Um, typically, like, the Queen of Pentacles isn't a single woman, but the fact that the Hermit is in the reverse right here is definitely giving me that, you know... You're definitely meeting new people that you are single. It says meetings, conversations, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendships. Look, look, come on, look at this. Feeling uplifted, friendships. So whoever this is really knows how to get things going. They really, really do. They bring a lot of excitement into your life. It says talking, interested, conversing more, awaiting messages, um, awaited messages arrives, call, text, email, hoovering. So, <laughs> I, so I feel like, um, I feel like you might not have a whole lot of time to yourself anymore because it's like, there's always somebody on the upper line trying to see what you want to do. For the night like what your interest is what you trying to do like let's not sit in the house why you want to sit in the house why you want to sit in the house come on come meet me at starbucks like i, I feel like starbucks is y'all's little spot like it's your spot i feel like you know you've taken some time with yourself to kind of figure out what you want 
Um, why well, I feel like God is not even giving you time to sit and soak and heal. It's like, no, go. Go enjoy yourself. Why? No, go enjoy yourself. You know? Don't be sitting here looking at the writings on the walls and old painted pictures and old past times and shit like that. Like being a fucking hermit. Go and enjoy yourself. You deserve it. Go talk to people. Go meet. Go taste these cups. You know what I'm saying? It's taste this choice. Go, go. Go take pictures. Everlasting. You know, everlasting things. Okay? I got the ring here, and then I got the death card, and I'm just going to take that. Then you got the bouquet in the clouds. Oh, my goodness. Your head is in the clouds. Like, I feel like you're receiving gifts, little momentums. Got the birds. So you're definitely talking to someone. I feel like you're definitely spending a lot of time at home talking to someone. And you could be telling your friends about this new little person that you're talking to. This little relationship. I feel like it's always on your mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like you can't wait till you go home. So you can kind of like sit back and like talk to this new person that you're like establishing this new relationship with. There's something in your life that's like over. So you might be like. You see how this person is peeling this can back? So you might be opening up more. You know what I'm saying? You are more alive than you've ever been. You know? So I feel like people are starting to see you more and more of your personality. Um, seeing you smiling a lot more. So this might be like you reinventing yourself a little bit. Like you've changed a lot with this death card. You've changed a lot with this death card. And then you got the ring with the whole city there. So I'm getting like the kind of like the world is yours type of energy right there. But it's giving like some level of commitment. And you hear my bird in the back with his big ass mouth and stuff like that. The seven of diamonds represents like... um. A gift of of, of substantial substantial increase, so that there could be some like increase in your life. People could be talking about, especially with this Queen of Pentacles. So you could be like looking like new money as well. So people could be talking about you. There could be some gossip. Like you could have ended this situation, like the nine of the the nine of uh, diamonds. So. The nine of diamonds represents a lot of travel and. Uh, self-accomplishment to me you know what i'm saying a lot of self-accomplishment and, and and uh i want to say like communication in a sense of there's a lot of communication that is ceasing and there's a lot of things that are opening up. And with that number eight up there, the number eight represents authority, prosperity, abundance, ambition, your manifestations, giving and receiving. So certain doors had to close for new doors to open for you. So people could be talking about that as well. And I do see a level of commitment and uh, growth and again, a, a high level of expansion. And remember, I was saying something earlier, like when I was going over there, something about your heads being, your head being in the clouds, like you smiling a lot. It's like that, with, with the clouds, with the um, bouquet, that's not giving like anything bad. That's like, you know what I'm saying? Like dreamy, like, you know what I'm saying? Like a downpour of like someone showing a affection on you in material ways you know what I'm saying so why well, when I looked at this I just heard I'm here like I'm here <laughs> like I'm here so I, I feel like you may have a different uh perfect picture of what home is to you like remember I said home is uh home is where the heart is so it's like it may be somebody heavy on your heart, on your mind that is like home to you. So home is where the heart is and the, and, and the heart is, uh, it got something in there. You got the five of wands in the reverse. You better look, you better tell the motherfuckers looking back up. Okay. Right over there by the coffin. Okay. 
you got the king of swords and the nine of wands okay so listen the king of swords is a very sharp judge of character i just heard i'm not fighting no more especially over here with this coffin card yeah it's like you don't have to fight or compete for anything anymore it's like it's already given to you so it's like you don't have to hide yourself in a shell you don't have to like fall back because i don't know i feel like for some reason when it's a whole lot of shit going on pisces just be like all right y'all got it like I, I just i feel like pisces is tired you know what i'm saying it's like i don't want to get into any disagreements no kerfuffles no misunderstandings i don't want any smoke so it's like some type of end to um I feel like not standing out in the crowd. Like, motherfuckers know that you the one. You the one to be heard. You the one to be understood. You the one to be looked at. You the one. Because, you know, the five of wands goes into the six of wands. And that is you obtaining success. You obtaining recognition. Like, people understanding. Like, listen, I don't compare what I don't compete with. Y'all don't even sit at my table. Y'all don't sit at my level. Like, Y'all need to listen to what's up so we can get what's done, what's done. Like, I'm the leader. I'm the one. I'm the one. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like, you know, you took yourself out of a situation where you felt like, who am I comparing myself to? Who who, who am I to judge or who are you to judge me? You understand what I'm saying? It's like, either we going to listen and get along and or it's just a sinking ship. And it's like, well, I'll just remove myself out of the situation and I'll go somewhere where I'm more successful. And it definitely looks like that's what you did. Too many chefs in one kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Like, no. It's like Pisces is here to shine. They are here to be. You know? So, okay, come on, bro, bro. With your confirmation. They go to King of Swords. And but you see there's a female energy right there with that with that don't that look like a female? It's giving a female. So I feel like a very dominant yet docile energy is just like you're very calm. You're very reserved. You're very patient and you're very knowledgeable about what you want, what you want to do, the decisions that you made. You're standing on it. You're not explaining yourself. I do feel like you have a guard up at this moment. And it's like. Um, I feel like a fearless warrior. But it's like you tired. It's like I'm tired of fighting. It's like I'm tired of fighting. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I, I'm, I'm, I want to just rest on my throne. And. It's like I want to rest on my throne and pay attention to what I want to do. Um, I do feel like with this nine of wands, it's like it's like you're battle weary, and I, I heard it's like you're tired and you're hungry. But, but you just literally said to me, but I can't even get off of my throne for a second to get something to eat. So it's like it's it's I feel like it's a time for someone to come in your life and take care of you for once. Pisces, let me give you all a few more cards and then we're going to go to like, you know, you got the page of wands in the reverse. I just heard, it's like, you don't really want to take no movement right now. You just want to go by the water or by the beach and just take some time out and just, like, relax for a second, relax for a moment. I really do feel like somebody is tired. I feel like you may work a lot or you may do a lot of movement or something. And it's like, I just want to take a rest. Um, Because I think you realize it's like, there's newness to you. Like, you're, you're starting over. Oh, you got the four wands, bitch. Come on now. And you got the two of wands, two in the reverse on the, on the back end. So, 
in one circumstance, I feel like you guys are thinking about moving. You guys are thinking about moving. But I feel like you're patient because I feel like some level of opportunities have been opening up for you in the situation or in the placement where you're at. And then for this to be right near the believe, my little believe rock right here. Um, I feel like you need to just believe what's taking place and just like kind of take your time and kind of feel things out. I just heard you just say like I, I'm 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 really tired of having to move around a lot. Like it's like I feel like it is you are at a point where it's like you're just trying to figure out what you want to do. You just want to be a safe distance from the bullshit so you can just be free and just relax and not feel like you have to have your guard up and have to like protect yourself so so thoroughly. It, it's like I feel like the Pisces wants to be more uh freely girly feminine you know what i'm saying it's like the with this coffin right here with this i feel like this is one thing that pisces wants to end is being so masculine or even having that kind of like super relaxed docile energy because remember i was saying it's like someone trying to pull you outside pull you make you more adventurous and things like that and it's probably not that you don't want to be it's just like i you have no idea what i've been through i'm fucking tired bitch i'm motherfucking tired you know what i'm saying so you know it's like i it's like so i feel like um excuse me i gotta sneeze my nose itch excuse me excuse me i feel like pisces may need to take a second to regenerate their self for a second um I feel like you 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 got away from something by the skin of your teeth. You know what I'm saying? You really really did. Um, and and I feel like you learned a lot from this situation. You know what I'm saying? Like you didn't get away without bumps and bruises, but um, excuse me. It's like you didn't get away without bumps and bruises, but the perpetrator. And didn't get off easy. Like, you know, the, the only way that you, I felt, I feel like took a loss in the situation is because you had to face the reality of what something really was. And it really wasn't best for you. And it's like, even though it might have hurt and you might have had to take something on the chin, it's like, you know... That motherfucker hurt theyself more than they hurt me. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, I'm glad that they got away. I'm glad that the motherfuckers got away from me. I'm glad that it, I got away from it. I got a lot of uh, spiritual and, and, and internal growth. You know, that's why that hermit is right there. You know, that is why that hermit is right there. But you got the four of wands. You got the four of wands. I feel like you got a new home. Maybe having like some type of celebration or some housewarming or something like that. But I definitely feel new love, baby. I for sure feel new love. I feel like you are just being patient with yourself. You are. Um, it's taking the time for you to reinvent yourself and not do what you used to do. You know, you are reestablishing yourself as who you are in this current moment, in this current time. And. You are being more expansive. You are going out more. You are saving your money. But it's t at the same time, you are spending your money on yourself. People can see that you're happy. They can see these new friends and these, you know, they see everything just like growing and lightening up and, and around you. And, and whoever you're talking to is like, I want to say pulling you out of the moment. And I feel like they're really dedicating time to you. Especially dedicating time with like going out, experiencing life, experiencing new happiness. And I definitely see like a true level of love and commitment coming to you, Pisces. And I just, it's something to hear. It's like, I, I almost feel like y'all don't even know if it's real. You know what I'm saying? Because it's like, I had to 
overcome so much. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, do I really not have to fight no more? No, you don't have to fight no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, this motherfucker going to cherish you forever. And whatever you got away from. And people could be talking about that too. People are definitely talking. People could be talking about the great escape. Or someone could be talking about how they, they let motherfuckers talk. They talk whatever the fuck they want to talk about. Look. I feel like Pisces hasn't been more comfortable and more happy than they've been in their whole life. They ain't got to fight no more. They understanding, they understanding what being so comfortable that I'm bored feels like. You know, like when you don't have no trouble. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting here waiting for my new boo to text me and for me to meet him. You know, like... What is, um, what is like a harsh truth or, or just like a self-check something that, uh, it says too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person. Get, get off of the internet. Go out in it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Cause remember it was. I was saying something about somebody. So if you are looking at anything from the past or anything, let that go. Let that go. Don't look at anything from the past. Don't compare your life to nobody else. Go out and create new experiences. New experiences. So I don't know. It's like someone may want to go and clean up their online profile and replace it with new stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like... It says you don't. It says too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person because you don't. Like you, you really don't go out and meet people and things like that. You need to go outside. And then it also says just walk away. So whatever all of this is with the coffin and everything, go walk away. Don't look at this no more. If it's if it's anybody that you've been looking at online from your past, don't look at that shit no more. Like God, God, way better things for you. To, to, you know what I'm saying? You got, but it it is something that is pre-existing because it's on the table, and it's explaining why you are kind of like so guarded right now. It's because you had to fight, you had to compete, you had to battle, you had to argue, you had to, you know, go through so much. You know what I'm saying? And good for them. Good for whoever it is that this is that got away. I'm glad that you're taking some time and it's not that you're not interested in any type of new offers or, or, or any type of... um new opportunities that come your way it's not that you're not excited for it because the page of wands kind of gives me someone that's not excited it's like i'm tired can we do this tomorrow it's like that's kind of what i'm getting <gasps> why am i getting like you postponing dates <gasps> on the flip side it says put uh, it says put down the fucking phone you think you got them all figured out Everyone can use a little fucking break. Yeah, so again, this is somebody that is online, like cyber stalking the fuck out of somebody. Put the phone fucking down. You think you got whatever this shit is that you're looking at from the past, figured it out. You don't. You don't, okay? Everyone can use a fucking break. On the flip side, it says just walk away from that shit, Okay? Too much screen time is making you awkward and sad. Go talk to a live person because you don't. Just walk away from the phone. So it's something about the phone, your past, okay? And you needing to go and experience it being around new people, real people. You know what I'm saying? Like good people. Like I said, just go to the coffee shop. <laughs> you never know. You never know. And don't give anything from the past your energy no more. It's done. It's over with. Let it be. 
Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Baby, you got the ring. True love, true commitment, and the four of wands. And I know your new place about to be lit. That's probably why you're fucking tired. No, I'm Pisces. Like, your new place is probably so wet right now. It is probably so fucking wet. Y'all know y'all like nice stuff, okay? I just see pearly, shimmery, girly. <laughs> like, you're probably tired from all of this moving and all of the stuff that you have to do. It's like, yeah. And I feel like, especially if you guys just recently moved, you had to do all of that shit by yourself. So I understand that you're tired. But, yeah. Everything's good, Pisces. I want to say that this was amazing reading. Let the past be the past. Let the future be your present and be your forever. I love you, Pisces. Thank you for loving yourself. Y'all make sure y'all click that like button. Y'all let me know what's going down in the comment section. Let me know if this resonates. If it comes to be a little bit later, y'all come back to this reading and be like, girl, I did me something. I do be on the phone with him on. I be waiting for his sex. Good. He be on my mind. Girl, me and my girlfriend be talking about uh, uh. Let me know, girl. Let me know. <laughs> anyway, I love y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.